Well, it's been over four years since the world was graced, blessed with the presence of the PS4. And finally, you at home, yes, you, under the right conditions, can hack your PS4 and do all sorts of cool things, kind of. Uh, now, it was possible back in the day to hack your PS4, but you needed to be on a really low firmware, uh, kind of obscure, it was not user-friendly at all, and the options were really limited. But this, this is completely different. So, you might be wondering, why should I hack my PS4? And, well, that's the thing. At the time of making this video, uh, you can run homebrew, but there's not really any homebrew to be ran. There's not even any emulators. So, pretty much the only thing you can do is play PS2 games and piracy. So, let's pirate some games! In order to hack your PS4, you're going to need a couple things. First of all, you're going to need a PS4 of any model that is running firmware 4.05 or below. Now, this firmware was released in late 2016, so it's pretty old. If you've updated past this, or your console came with a firmware higher than this, then as of the making of this video, you're going to need to get another PS4. Now, if you already own a PS4 that's past firmware 4.05, then your only option is to get a different PS4, because there's no way to downgrade your firmware. So, what I recommend is going on Amazon or Craigslist or eBay and getting a bundle. Uh, preferably one that's released uh, before the firmware. There's a link in the description that shows you like a table with the ones you should get, but I got the Destiny Taken King PS4, came on firmware 2 point whatever, uh, which is cool because you can always upgrade but you can't downgrade yet. So, uh, get them while they're still available because I guarantee you scalpers are going to come in and buy all the supplies that are still out there like on Amazon and then they're going to sell them on eBay for inflated prices. It happens every time. So get them while they're still available. Out of all the major consoles to get a jailbreak, I think the PS4 has been the easiest for the end user to do. All you need to do is download a program off GitHub, extract the zip file, and run the executable for your system. It will work for Windows, Linux, and I mean, maybe even Mac, I don't know, but who uses Mac? Come on now. Once the program is running, it will tell you what your computer's IP is. You'll need to go into the network settings of your PS4 and set your primary and secondary DNS entries to be the IP listed in the program. Once you have your DNS entries selected, all you have to do is go to the user's guide found in the settings of your PS4, select the X Vortex Hen option, a pop-up will appear, and then you're done. Now you will have a debug settings option in your settings menu. Once you have the debug settings option on your PS4, it will have a lot of options that you really don't need to worry about uh, if you're a developer maybe, but I don't even know what most of them do. What you do need to know about is the package installer, which will let you install games off of a USB stick. <laughs> You can either back up your own games or use games that other people have backed up and uploaded to the internet. I'm not going to show you where to find such things, just like everything else, it's a Google search away. Once you have the package files on your USB stick, go to the package installer, install the games you want, and you're done. Now you can play any game you want, assuming that is it doesn't require a higher firmware than 4.05. You can also convert PS2 ISO files into PS4 package files and play them on your PS4. Now it's a bit complicated so I'm not going to cover it here. In the description, I've linked a video from some Indian dude who's going to tell you all about it if you're interested. Aside from running PS2 games and pirated PS4 games on your PS4, there isn't a whole lot more you can do with one. Uh, I guess you can run Linux on one if you want, but I mean you can run Linux on your toaster, so I don't see it as that big of a deal. You can also download and install custom themes if you're into that sort of thing, although I'm not really. So, should you hack your PS4? Well, if you don't want to pay for games and if you want to potentially pay for another PS4 just to hack it, uh, then sure. Otherwise, just stick with your PS4 that you got now and buy your games. You can also play them online. You can't play online on a hacked PS4. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time where we... It's, it's, about, it's an episode about the Wii. Should you hack your Wii? It's the next one. Uh, subscribe if you're into that. Also, I'm on Twitter and, uh, you know... Well, fuck it. One, one. Yeah.